Hi everyone, I am Vasco Conceição and for the past five years I've been studying two neuropsychiatric disorders, Tourette syndrome and obsessive compulsive disorder at IMM. I've been studying both these disorders because they are extremely related genetically but also behaviorally. Uh, these two disorders, as I said before, are very related and we can see that uh, because comp complex tics, for instance, are very uh, similar and sometimes difficult to distinguish from compulsions and uh, because approximately half of the patients with Tourette syndrome, for example, suffer from comorbid obsessive compulsive disorder. Furthermore, these two disorders affect somewhat related regions in the brain, most notably the motor and limb circuits of the basal ganglia. So all these factors point to the existence of a continuum between these two disorders and for the need to study them together. Given that this lack of treatment success is for sure related to a lack of understanding on the pathophysiology of both these disorders and that the most efficacious treatments respectively target the dopaminergic and serotonergic systems in Tourette and OCD, uh, my PhD aimed precisely at better understanding how the dopaminergic and serotonergic systems were implicated in Tourette syndrome and OCD respectively. So my PhD work was divided on two main parts, uh, the study of dopaminergic disturbances in Tourette syndrome and the study of uh, serotonergic disturbances in obsessive compulsive disorder. Focusing on this second part, what we did is that we designed a new study in which we specifically tried to assess the relation between serotonin, a specific cognitive process, and the severity of obsessive compulsive traits. So to do this, what we did is that we developed a new computer game in which the goal was very simple. Basically, participants had to try to get as many points as possible during the game by trying to collect shells that were yielding pearls at specific moments in time. And what happened in this game is that there was kind of a hidden trick. So basically shells went through different seasons in which they were more or less likely to yield good and bad outcomes. Uh, we applied this new game that we developed to 50 participants with sub subclinical uh, obsessive compulsive traits. And what we showed with our game and through the application of computational models to analyze the data that there was a single parameter from our model that related in opposite directions to serotonin levels and uh, their severity of obsessive compulsive traits as assessed through a well-validated questionnaire that we also applied to the participants. By showing these two relations in the opposite directions, we believe that our study revealed a possible mechanism by which the medication might desert their therapeutic effects in obsessive compulsive disorder, and we thus expect to have contributed to a better understanding of both the pathophysiology and the treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder. Thanks for watching the video.